Hi guys, I'm Seth. Thank you for checking out my channel. As you can see from the title, this is a project finish it up where it is anything but makeup. So if you haven't seen my first video kind of explaining the project and what it entails and what it's all about, I will link that down below so you can kind of hear all that, but I will just jump right into the products. For some of these things, I set the goal was to finish it up. For other, for some of them, I set specific goals. So I'll let you know what the goal was and if I accomplished it and what I will be bringing into the project because I did finish up a few things. Just to kind of let you know, this was like a really odd month for me. I live like a two hour plane ride from my family and there was a family emergency so I had to go home and that obviously prevented me from using up some of these products which I think I could have had I been at home where I live. So there was like a 10 day period where I wasn't at home and anyways, but so I hope that March will be even better progress. So let's jump into it. The first product that I finished up was the Atmosphere Tea Tree Oil. This is it here. And at the beginning, when I started this project, I was right here. So this amount took me only two weeks to finish. I really like bunkered down was using this morning and night. Previously, I had only been using it morning or night, but I was really happy that I used it up. I don't think I would repurchase this product. I do love tea tree oil for breakouts, but I just didn't love this specific formula and the way it was dispensed because like it's a roller ball like this. So in order to like kind of put on your face, you have to make sure it's at this angle. So it's like all coming out and I just, it wasn't my favorite tea tree product I've used, so I wouldn't repurchase it. And I don't think it did anything spectacular for my skin. The second product I finished up is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer with Salicylic Acid. And it looks like this. I had marked it here, but I realized I was actually wrong. It was quite a bit higher, about here maybe. And I finished up this whole thing, so I'm really happy. I've had this in my collection for over a year because I was using it on and off and mixing it in with other products. So I'm happy that I was actually able to finish this up and now I can try some new moisturizers and that type of thing. The next two products I met my goal on, but I didn't finish them up. So for the e.l.f. Eye Refresh, it looks like this, kind of reflective. My goal was to use this 15 times and I accomplished that goal. There is still some left. I actually like to store this in my fridge because I find that makes it even colder. So it's just this little roller ball and you roll it under your eye. Sometimes I roll it over my eyelid just if they're feeling tired. It really helps wake you up. It depuffs and I really love that cooling sensation which definitely you can have on its own but I just think putting it in the fridge gives it that extra coolness and I really enjoy that. So again, this is going to stay in the project and again, I think my goal will be to use it 15 times. I can't imagine there is that much product to use 15 more times, but because of the packaging, I have no idea what is left in there. There's no shaking. Okay, so 15 more times is the goal. I met it once, I'm gonna to try to meet it again. The next product, again, I met my goal, but it is not finished, and this is the Soap & Glory Total Drama Clean 5-in-1 Magnetizing Micellar Makeup Remover, and it looks like this. So as you can see from the line, hopefully, I was here when I started this project and now I am here and my goal was to use half of the remaining product, which I did. So now my goal for this month is going to be use the remainder of the product. When I first bought this, I really liked it and then I didn't love it so much and actually went like six months without using it and I was like, I just need to finish this up because I don't really want it in my collection anymore. And I'm someone who likes to do a double cleanse and typically I would go in with a makeup wipe and then more of a traditional cleanser. And now I've been going in with a micellar water and a typical cleanser. And I find it does work as well. There is just something convenient about makeup wipes, but I don't feel like they get everything off. And I don't think this gets everything off either, but I think it actually does do a better job than the makeup wipes I have been using recently. It does really sting my eyes, so I don't love it for that because I particularly love to use micellar waters that I do have to really get off all that eye makeup because I feel like that is where the majority of my makeup is. So it's a shame that it stings my eyes, but I do find it really good for getting off liquid lipsticks or like liquid lipstick swatches because sometimes I just like to swatch my collection for fun to stop myself from buying more products. And this does a great job of taking off those swatches. So once I finish it off, I will give a more in-depth review I think but as for now I'm 
happy that I'll be finishing off. We'll see how it goes from there. So unfortunately, those were all the goals I met, so I will go through my progress with my remaining products. So I had two hair products in this project, the first one being the Dove Style & Core Flexible Hold Hairspray, which is this. I don't really have a way to mark it. It feels like it could be here. I don't really want to guesstimate, but my goal was to use it five times, and I only ended up using it three, but I do think because, as I said, I was away, I didn't get to use products, and I think I could have hit the five mark, but regardless, I used it three times, which is three more times I've used it than the past, like, five months combined. So definitely progress. I'm going to try for another five uses of this going forward. So for this month, my goal is five uses. The second hair product is the L'Oreal Elite Fibrology Air Root Lifting Dry Shampoo. And this is it. I definitely have used quite a bit. I feel like it's about here, again, really hard to say, but my goal was to use it five times. Again, I only used it three times. I really think I could have gotten those five times in, but whatever it is what it is. So my goal going forward is going to be five uses this month. So hopefully that might take care of it. We'll see what we get to at the end of the month and I'll let you guys know. So next I have my candle from Ikea and this is the Tindra, which kind of smells like apple cinnamon. And my goal was to finish it and clearly there is some left. I still still smell so good but just so you can see the marking I was here and I got about two here again it, I feel like it looks less in the camera than it really is but there truly isn't much left because the glass stops about here so only this much left I really think I can finish it up this month I really think I could have finished it up this month had I been here I'm trying to stop harping on that but goal is to finish it up this month and I think 100% I should not have a problem with that. So the next product I was definitely overly ambitious for, overly, over ambitious for, and it was my nail polish remover. So as you can see my line was here and I'm like a little bit under the line. I used this three times. My goal was to use half of what I had left. So about here. I think I really underestimated how much nail polish remover I actually use when I do remove my nail polish and again I definitely did not wear nail polish as much as I was hoping to wear this month so I think instead of trying to make it an amount because that was very difficult I think I didn't realize I think the whole concept behind why I put this in is because yes I want to use it up but I also want to wear nail polish more so I think if I give myself a number of uses like I have with some of the other products that might be easier and more obtainable and keep me more, mo more motivated. So I think for this, because I used it three times, I kind of want to push myself a bit more. I think my goal to use this nail polish remover seven times. That seems reasonable. Seven times. That would be painting my nails more than once a week, which I hope is doable. We shall see. So seven times for the nail polish remover. <laughs> So another item I was a little over ambitious on was the book I was reading. So I was reading Game of Thrones and when I started this project I was on page 350 and my goal was to finish the book. And just to give you a reference there is 835 pages in the book. I really thought I could do it. I totally believed in myself because leading up to this project and when I decided to start this project I was reading at least 20 pages if not more a day. And if I had kept up at that rate, I would have definitely been able to finish the book. However, as soon as I started this project, I had a change in location where I was working. So before I was commuting via public transit, so I could read when I was taking the bus and the subway, and I got a lot of reading done that way. And then I switched to driving. And then on top of that, I was working 14 hour days. So that left very little time for anything else, including reading, unfortunately. So I got from page 350 to page 390, so I read 40 pages. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the book this month, that would be ideal. And I want to challenge myself, and I do love reading, and I want to make reading more, so I'm not going to go easy on myself, and I'm going to make Game of Thrones a finish. I'm going to finish this book, my goal is to finish this book by the end of the month. And my last product last but definitely certainly not least is my 
Boots Tea Tree Witch Hazel Peel Off Face Mask. So I said I wanted to use this whole thing up and I estimated that I had three or four more uses out of it. Well, this is where I started and I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is where I currently am. And that was after two uses. And I still have all this to go. So I definitely overestimated how much I use per face mask. Now that being said, now that I know that was two masks, I feel like I have like five more in here. I don't know. It's hard to estimate with these types of things, but I definitely still really want to finish up this mask because I have this exact same one and I definitely do not need two of them. And again, face masks are something that I accumulate but don't really use, but I really want to use more of. I'm not sure if I can finish this up, but I don't know if I would really want to use it more than once a week. My goal for this product is going to be use it once a week till the next update. Maybe that'll finish it off. I don't really know. It's hard to say at this point. So because I did finish off two products, that means I will be adding two things into the project. The first thing I will be adding in is this. They're super crinkly, so I'm just going to put them down and explain what it is. They are white strips. It's like a 14-day application type thing, so... I think I have to use it 14 days in a row. I was talking to my dentist about it and they were like, if your teeth get too sensitive, use them every other day. But there's something I've had in my bathroom for a while and I've just never gone around to using them. And I definitely want whiter teeth. I mean, I think most people do. So I'm really excited to kind of have this project to motivate me to use those up. So I can't believe I will have any problem finishing up those 14 strips for top and bottom. So I'm excited to use them up and see the results and let you guys know how they worked for me. And the last thing I'm adding into the project is soap. So I have this gift and this gift. So a lot of little soaps. So I received these for birthdays and holiday gifts for like the past two years. So I have quite a lot of them and I always thought, oh, I'll just keep them for when I travel. It's great that I have these mini sizes, but I've traveled a lot since I've received one of these and I never bring it with me because I have already purchased travel soap or a lot of places you go have soap and it's not just something I have to bring with me. And then when I was looking at these ones, these are actually 150 mils and you can't bring anything more than 100 milliliters onto a plane with you. So I could potentially bring these for travel, but these ones definitely not unless I pack them. And I don't know, like then they're also like quite big. I don't know if I want them to take up that much space. Like as I said, I have other travel size soaps. So these ones really aren't going to get used. So my goal is to definitely not use all of these soaps, but maybe try to use one a month. But again, 100 mils, I don't know, I think is a lot of soap, and I feel like one of these could take me like two months. I feel like I don't use a lot of soap. I don't know. Maybe these ones will be different, but like I put it on my loofah, it suds up, and I can like fully wash my body with not a lot of soap. That being said, like I'm a pretty short <laughs> person. There isn't a lot of me to wash but anyways without getting too much into that <laughs> I am going to be using the shade the shade the scent cherry blossom so just so you know there's cherry blossom vanilla orchid and lavender and I'm going to start with cherry blossom and probably just work my way this way so cherry blossom will be the first one I use as you can see these are all full never opened so my goal is to use half of this because I'm not going to just waste product to use it so my goal is going to be to use half of the cherry blossom scent. Hope you guys can see it. I realize my light is kind of reflective. There we go. The cherry blossom scent there. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this product. I know it really motivates me to use up things that were kind of just sitting around my home that I wasn't really using. So I'm really happy that I'm finally really starting to finish up these products. Half empty things. Finally getting rid of. I don't need doubles of certain things like nail polish and hairspray. So... I'm loving this project and it's really motivating for me and I hope that it is motivating some of you guys to use up stuff that you already own and just kind of finish stuff off before you purchase something new. I know I'm definitely guilty of constantly <laughs> buying before I finish stuff off, which is why I love this project because I feel like it's really making me focus on what I do have. So if there's anything you are currently working on finishing up, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.